During this screencast, I will show you how to navigate and use the new lighting interface to create and edit lead views. If you want to change any of the view settings, simply go to the gear icon here. You can create a new view, rename an existing view. You can share uh, the view whether you want to make it private or public. You can edit list filters, which determines what data shows. And you can select what fields to display, as well as delete views. I'm going to go into the edit list filters next. In order to edit what data appears on your view, select the edit list filters. Once you click that, you'll see the sidebar pop up here. You can also remove the sidebar by clicking the right arrow. You can also reopen it by hitting this funnel view right here. To add a new filter, simply hit add for new filter, select one of the available fields from your lead. So I'm going to hit lead status, hit done, and then select one of the values. I'm going to select new, then hit done, and then save it. And your new view will be updated based on the new criteria. You can also remove criteria by hitting the X here. And you can also remove all. So by adding and subtracting different filters, you can get to exactly the type of data you need. In order to select which columns will display it in the order, simply go to the gear icon here and select fields to display. Here you'll see a list of the available fields as well as the visible. To add a new field, simply hit the right arrow and you'll see it added to the list. To change the order, you can press up or down. And to remove it, simply hit to the, the left arrow. Then hit save. And any changes you made to the fields will be displayed here. The last feature I want to show you here is the chart ability. You now have the ability to add charts directly within views. This ability used to be limited to reports, but now you can create charts directly within the view settings. Simply click the chart icon here, and you'll see the chart um, sidebar pop up. By default, you'll see the leads by lead source on the lead object, and you can see the types of uh, breakdowns of where these leads come from. Click the chart here. You can edit whether you want to see it as a horizontal bar or as a vertical bar or change it back to a donut chart. You can also create new, one, new views and charts from here. So here's an existing one we created, leads by form conversion. And you can see here, you can see the types of uh, forms that were uh, attributed to the leads. To view the settings, again, hit here, and you can hit edit chart. You can also hit new chart if you want to create a new one from scratch. For the edit chart, again, you can change the name. You can determine what type of chart you want. You can do an average sum or count. This is the field that you want to aggregate by, and this is the field you want to group by. Simply hit save. And you can create all types of charts right from within this interface. And by simply collapsing or expanding by hitting the icons, you can easily gain access to charts. Thanks for watching this screencast. You should now know how to create and edit lead views using the new Lightning experience. Make sure to check out GetSmartAcre.com for more helpful blogs and screencasts.